What's going on guys, I'm Anders Jukuf from Fury Pixel, welcome to the video collaboration number 5. Today's topic is gonna be favorite piece of tech, like always we have some awesome YouTubers, so without further ado, let's get started. Before I start this video, I want to say thank you to Anders for letting me be a part of this collaboration, and I want to say subscribe to everybody inside of this awesome collaboration because they're all really awesome tech reviewers. Now let's get on with my favorite piece of tech. Hey, what is up guys, Science Akbar here. I run a funny tech channel and I hope you guys check it out. Anyway, my favorite piece of tech is definitely the Galaxy S7 Edge. Now a lot of you are probably wondering why your favorite piece of tech a freaking phone. Well one, that freaking 5.5 inch 2K display is freaking gorgeous. This design is something you have to beat, I mean seriously. But the one downside about this phone itself is it's not really that good at calls. I mean, it can drop calls every once in a while, but I don't know if that's just me and my mom's unit, but other than that, they can fix that in the future. Aside from that though, this thing can handle anything I throw at it, texting, gaming, anything. Like, it just really just works smoothly. It has a gorgeous glass and metal unibody build with those nice curved edges. Of course, it supports 4G LTE, a 16 megapixel camera, which I also use to make all my videos, four gigabytes of RAM, and a freaking fat 3,600 milliamp hour battery. All of this being ran by a Snapdragon 820 processor, and it's really great to run my channel. Consuming any type of content with this phone is a freaking breeze due to how just fast it is. I don't know how to explain it, it's just freaking gorgeous. Anyways, that's all I really had to say about this phone. I run my channel on it. Definitely, if you wanna check out my channel, go ahead and Go in the link in the description. I'm sure it's in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Science Akbar, peace. Yo, what's going on, Fury Pixel fans? My name is Kevin, the Tech Ninja. If you don't know me, I'm a guy that makes technology videos and I also do computer builds as well. My homie Andres asked me to make a video about some cool technology, things that I that I can't live without. I wanted to think of something that was unique and not something that everyone else talked about. So without further ado, this is Flick. Flick is a smart button. This button can be programmed to do a number of things, but most importantly for me, it works with if this then that. So I can program this little button to do pretty much anything in my house as my house is a smart house. I can press the button to turn off and on lights. I can press the button to lock my door using the August lock. I can press the button to uh, set my alarm, disable my alarm. I can hold the button down to turn on my flashlight. I mean, there are thousands of things that this little button, a pretty inexpensive button can do. It's pretty amazing once you configure it. Now built into the settings, as you can see, you have a lot of automation things that you can use. But what I like to do is go to if this then that. And then from here, I set up different profiles with all of my smart home equipment. Like I have one right here where I actually double tap it. It turns off my lights and it also sets up my thermostat to set it to away. So Flick is just one of those amazing tools that once you have it, it becomes integrated into your life and you really can't live without it. Once again, guys, I'm Kevin the Tech Ninja and a big shout out to Fury Pixel for having me on this collab. I'll talk to you guys later. I don't know, what is it? When determining what's my favorite piece of tech, I think about something I can't live without. Whether I'm eating, sleeping, cruising, or doing other stuff. So yeah, my favorite piece of tech is definitely my phone. Right now, my daily driver is the Huawei Nexus 6P. Now, I got this phone last year in November, and I gotta say, it is still a beast. Rocking Android N, I'm on the bleeding edge of the latest and greatest from Google. That's one of the top reasons why I'm such a Nexus lover. Other features that make this phone the go-to piece of tech for me is that it's everything in one. It's fast and powerful, so it can replace my laptop. And with a bright AMOLED screen and dual front-facing stereo speakers, this thing is better than some TVs out there. And with such an awesome 4K camera, this thing is even better than my current DSLR. So there you have it. That's my favorite piece of tech right now. I just want to say thanks to Fury Pixels for inviting me to do this collab. I really appreciate it. 
And if you guys like what you've seen so far, or you guys like me, then be sure to check out my channel and subscribe. My name is DeCoin, and I'm out. Hey, what's up guys? Mr. English here from Miami English TV and I want to talk to you about my favorite piece of tech at the moment this year and it has to be my G933s. Um, these things are really, really amazing. Uh, I've been using them for quite a while and the microphone is great inside of it as well, but what really gets me going is the sound quality, the comfortability, and the RGB lighting. These things are second to none and uh, I can't really say anything bad about them. Uh, the build quality is perfect, the finishing is awesome, and you really just can't go wrong with Logitech. So thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you in the next one, peace. What's up everyone, GT here today. And thank you Fury Pixel for inviting me for this awesome collaboration about your favorite tech. So the favorite tech I want to talk about is my Xbox One Elite controller. So yes, this is my favorite piece of tech currently at the moment. Even though it's been out for a bit, I'm still loving this. I'm still enjoying using this controller. It's freaking amazing. If many of you have heard scuff controllers, this is pretty much a scuff controller but improved and officially licensed, of course. So let's go ahead and see what's inside the little pouch and what you get with your Xbox One Elite controller. All right, so let's go ahead and open up this pouch. And that way you can see what's inside of here. You do get this pouch when you purchase the Elite controller, which is pretty awesome because you can carry this controller anywhere as you go. So if you wanna to go to your friend's house and play video games and you wanna you know, beat the competition, you get a pouch to take your controller with you. Now, on top of that, you do get your charging cable. So if it runs out of batteries, you know it comes with a rechargeable pack. You know, you can take your rechargeable cable with you, and also you can plug this in without a battery and it still run fine. It'll be like just like a wired controller. So this is a braided cable that you do get. Now, you do also get, you know, your thumbsticks. You get concave, and you get domed, you get your paddles, and you get your D-pad. So as you can see, you get the controller here, you got your thumbsticks, you got your D-pad, circular D-pad, and in the back you also get more buttons. These are for the trigger stops. So as you can see here, they go stop, push them back up, they go all the way down. So mainly the trigger stops are for first person shooters and the same thing for the paddles or if you want to modify your buttons. So let's go ahead and try some paddles on. We put the long paddle down here. Let's try another paddle. Let's put the other paddle here. So there you go, you have paddles here. You can also put all four of them. And as you can see it right here, I don't know if you can tell inside, you know, they have like this little man magnetic piece in the middle. So bam. So you also get the domed ones as well, short domed, which is pretty cool. You also get the D-pad to replace the circular pad. Mainly the circular pad is for, you know, racing games and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and do that, and voila, that is your Elite controller. Trigger stops, paddles on the bottom, you see here, it's like a perfect, you know, grip size for the paddles whenever you're playing. So this is pretty much my favorite piece of tech at the moment. So that is it for now. Thank you guys and gals for watching. Much love and I appreciate you for your pixel for inviting me for this video collaboration. This is my favorite piece of tech. Like I mentioned before, this is for the Xbox One. It's an Xbox One LA controller. On top of that, you can also use this on your PC on the go as well. So if you have your PC gamer, don't hesitate. You can use this controller as well too. Be a pro. Play competitive, however you want to do it. Thank you for your pixel, and now I am signing out, and I'll see you guys and gals later. Adios. So my favorite piece of tech is the one who's helped me to power almost the half of my battery station. Now at this, I enjoy to upgrade my battery station, getting new peripherals and components. And as you know, my MacBook Pro is the heart of this setup. And one of the biggest problems I have on my setup is that MacBook Pro is limited to only two USB 3.0 and two Thunderbolt ports. And when I'm daily running seven peripherals at the same time and I still need three ports, this can be a huge problem. This is the Belkin Thunderbolt 2 Express Dock HD.
and the component who is saving from now my gaming setup. One of the things make me love this device is his small size and minimalistic design. This docking comes with his power supply and one Thunderbolt cable. And believe it or not, I can connect up to 8 devices including 4K displays. Now what kind of ports I can connect on this docking? On the front of that we have the LED indicator when it's on or off. On the right side we have a USB 3.0 with an audio in out jack and on the back we are gonna find 1 GB Ethernet port, an audio out jack, 2 USB 3.0 ports, 2 Thunderbolt ports from the ones you need one to connect directly to your Mac, an HDMI out and the power jack. So now you know what is my favorite piece of tech at the moment, let me know which is yours on the comment section below and remember guys everything mentioned on this video is gonna be listed and linked on the description below in case you want to take a look about it and that was the video collaboration number five of the channel i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you have any topic for the next collaboration on the section below thank you a lot to all the amazing youtubers who was in this video and remember guys if you like the video don't forget to give that thumbs up share the video and subscribe to my channel and that way you won't miss any of my future videos and content and your cool friend fury pixel see you next time